At their core, narcissists are insecure, fragile humans who do truly just need to be loved and adored. They just need it more than the average person. But the need itself is real, pervasive, and damaging. So psychotherapist Gina Maffa, when we first enter into a relationship, it's natural to be swept up in the excitement and possibilities of a new connection. But sometimes, as we get to know them better, we may start to notice behaviors that make us feel uncomfortable or even uneasy. One such behavior is narcissism. Narcissists are often charming and charismatic, making it difficult to spot their tendencies in the early stages of a relationship. However, there are certain signs that may indicate that someone is a narcissist. By understanding these early warning signs, we can better navigate our relationships and ensure that our own emotional well being is being prioritized. So, what are the early signs that someone may be a narcissist in a relationship? Let's dive in and explore. Just me, myself, and I. Have you ever been around someone who loves to talk? What about someone who loves to talk but only about themselves? According to Zlatan Grzan, assistant professor of psychology at Iowa State University, this is straight out of the narcissist textbook. They dearly love to talk about themselves. They can be very social and charismatic, but the conversation always seems to come back around to be focused on them, says mental health therapist Tara Dixon. If they constantly and consistently talk about their life, their accomplishments, or how superior they are to others without being asked, this can be an early sign of narcissism. Keep them coming. Behind a narcissist's seemingly self-confident mask lies very high emotional fragility. As MPD specialist Eleanor Greenberg says, People with narcissistic personality disorder hide their sense of inadequacy behind a grandiose facade. They exaggerate their desirable qualities to sustain their self-esteem through external validation. Sounds like every first date you've ever been on, right? Even though narcissists tell everyone how great they are, they're not bragging. They're actively seeking out praise to confirm that they are amazing because they don't truly believe it. Remember the quote we mentioned earlier by psychologist Gina Maffa? At their core, Narcissists are insecure, fragile humans who do truly just need to be loved and adored. They just need it more than the average person. But the need itself is real, pervasive, and damaging. So, the next time you're listening to your partner drone on about how great they were at something, think, have you actually seen that skill? Or could they be seeking validation? This might be an early sign in the relationship that they're a narcissist. Playing the blame game. Have you ever seen a narcissist accept responsibility or take accountability for making a mistake in a relationship? Mm, we didn't think so. Psychologist Susan Krauss Whitburn, ABPP, tells us that narcissists have the unwillingness to admit their mistakes. Because the narcissist believes appearances are everything, a mistake could sully that perfect image. This will cause them to either escalate or redirect the blame to maintain the facade of perfection. Sometimes that blame is generalized. Other times, the narcissist blames one person who is most emotionally close, loyal, and loving in their life. This could most definitely be the narcissist's partner. An example of this can be going on a first date and not getting a table at a romantic restaurant. Instead of admitting they forgot to make a reservation, your partner blames you for taking too long to get ready or blaming everyone who's eating for taking their spot. According to family therapist, Marjales Felstad, the victims of their narcissistic abuse are the safest people to blame because they're least likely to leave or reject them. If you're constantly getting blamed for things in your relationship when it's not your fault, this could be an early sign your partner is a narcissist. But you said I was perfect. When you go fishing, do you just drop the hook in the water and cross your fingers? Of course not, you need bait. Well, think of a narcissist like a fisherman when it comes to dating. In the beginning, Dating a narcissist can make you feel like you're the most admired and desired person in the world. Gradually, over time, the narcissist begins to roll back the red carpet of attention they'd spread out for you, which can leave you feeling confused and rejected. Psychotherapist Gina Maffa describes this behavior as love bombing, originating from the narcissist's need to maintain the upper hand in relationships. She traces this to a narcissist's difficulty forming healthy attachments as people with NPD are often terrified of being abandoned. Oh, you have feelings too? When in a relationship, partners often contemplate what makes their significant other happy. But these questions are out of a narcissist's range. Thoughtful behaviors require an understanding of others' feelings. According to authors at BPD Central, 
Narcissists don't take others' feelings into account, especially when those feelings conflict with their own. This inability to identify and respond to others' emotions may be due to abnormalities in their empathy circuitry, as found by a 2012 neuroimaging study. A study by Harvard Medical School suggests some narcissistic individuals may have intact empathetic ability, but choose to disengage from others' pain or distress, while others may have a deficient ability in the recognition of others' feelings. It's difficult for a narcissist to understand your feelings, give in, or sacrifice anything for your benefit. If your partner makes you feel nervous about approaching certain topics or sharing your own preferences, it can be an early sign of their potential MPD. Whether or not the person is aware of their narcissistic tendencies and behavior, you are not required to be around anyone you don't want to be around. Now you even have some signs to keep an eye out for early on in the relationship. Are there any signs we missed? Comment below. As always, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. The references used in and to compose this video are listed below.